RCA Victor and its dealers present Ver Tilstrom, creator of Kukla, Ollie, and all the Kukla Paladin players with Fran Allison in Kukla, Fran, and Ollie. Three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three. Jack, the tempo is not good, dear. A little brighter, if you It want. needs to be brighter. Let's try that again now. You, just a moment, dear. Wait for the downbeat. You, dear, you don't have to chime in on this one. <laughs> From the top? From the top, dear, and let's wait for the downbeat, shall we? All right. All righty, my gracious. We haven't practiced lately, have we? No, we haven't. No. Our little fingers aren't as nimble as they were, are they? A little stiff. No. By the way, Jack, I can hear your fingernails on the keys. Oh, you could. Yes, I could. Oh, we must... They're too short. We must... Hmm? They're too short. They're too short. They're too long. They're too long, dear. They must, oh, it's something else. Must be. Perhaps it's your toenails on the pedals. Anyway, let's try it again. Now, here's on the downbeat. Brighter! 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 Brighter, brighter, brighter! That's better, that's better, that's a tip. That. Die, 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 die. That's a good pogo pump bounce, really. That's good. Much better. I hope that we'll do that for the rest of the year to speed along the show. Because I'd like to have the show start a little brighter, a little faster, a little better tempo. I know how it is when we've had a long year. We sometimes have a little difficulty in keeping things bright. Don't you think? We'll shoot for the new tempo, Bueller. Good. Now, Francis, I'd like to speak to you, please, dear. To me, Bueller? Yes. Haven't you seen, haven't you heard about my new position? No, I haven't, Bueller. Oh, yes, I'm, a, I'm appointed to... I'm efficiency expert for the Cooper Problem Oh, Claire. that's fine. Mm -hmm. And I'm working on something very special to improve the show. That's good. We must keep our tempo up. You know, all of uh, Broadway shows and shows that go on tour uh, uh, have a, a tendency every so often to slacken up. You know how you keep playing shows and you get a little tired here and there and you let down. Well, directors come in and efficiency experts to keep things moving mm -hmm. faster. So I want to just brush this little show up so that we can finish on time. That's fine. I have no quarrel with that. I had a complaint last week. Someone didn't get a chance to take a bow. Oh, that. Mm -hmm. They cut him off before he was even on the air. Oh, perish forbid. Well, it's quite important. He backs us, you know. Well, yes, I, I know that it, that it was certainly not anyone's intention to have such a dreadful thing happen. Well, no, not exactly in, in but intention. But I, I, mean, I think um, maybe we could work it out this way. Why not uh, take the bow at the beginning? That's what I thought, dear. Yes. I, I was like wondering if we couldn't do that sometime. Well, it's all right with me. Well, we'll work on that someday. All right, dear. But I want, I want to talk to you. You must get in and out of the picture more quickly. All right. Francis, yes. we don't let our hair fall down in front of our eyes. But when you move so fast, you can't help it. Well, you must be more graceful about it. Like a gazelle there, like a gazelle. I like a pogo pump. Well, let's try it again. All right. Now, let's just pretend you're... Now, wait, wait, now, wait. I'll oh. call you in, see? Okay. I'll be cool, Club. <clears throat> Francis? Yes? Would you come in for a moment, please? It wasn't very fast. Okay, make it again. Francis! Well, that was much better. Much better, okay. I like that. Well, see you in a few minutes, Fran. Fine, that's good. Well, I think that'll help things. How, how's the zoom our lens? I think sometimes we have a little trouble with that zoom our lens. Let's play a little game. Let's play Where's Beulah? <laughs> People at home, I just want to tell you, I'm sorry to have to do this right on the show because we don't usually work these things out on the show, but we didn't have much time for rehearsal today. And, and our cameraman has an interesting device on the front of his camera known as the Zoom R lens, which enables us to go in and out and in and out like that. You see? Very good. Very good. Well, every so often, he gets a little rusty to say nothing of the Zoom R lens. So we have to practice a little game called Where's Beulah or Where's Fran or Where's Jack, as the case may be. Well, here I am for tomorrow's no, show. No, hmm? no, Francis, I didn't call you in. No, you no. mentioned my name. Yes, I know, but that's 
Not this time. Oh. So, let's play Where's Beulah? As I say, this could be Fran. Could just as well be Fran as, as me, but no. No, dear. Well, I can't get in any faster. No, that was fine, dear, but I didn't call you in. I just mentioned your name. Oh. Could be just as well, F-R-A-N. Well, I... That's me, ready for duty. <laughs> That's very nice, dear. Very good. Now, let's see how fast you can get off. One, two, three. That's fine. <clears throat> All righty. Where is Beulah? Where? Where is Beulah? There's Beulah! Now, there is a way that you can cheat at this game. And that is by pulling the Zoomar lens all the way out so I can't get away. But we don't count that. That's not fair. You're doing very well. Two out of three. <laughs> now, don't say it on me. Now, that's not fair. Where can I go? All right, come in now. Where is Beulah? Where is... Where is Beulah? Where is Beulah? Where is... Over this way! There is Beulah. What are you doing up here? I was just... Uh, I heard all this noise. I wondered what was going on. I'm giving everybody a little practice. Limbering them up. You look a little stiff in the joints. Here, let's have it. One, two, one, two, one. Beulah, please. Oh. Oh. What's the matter? I don't know, but you did something to me. <laughs> you look all right to me. Turn around to the side. Well, you do look a little out of kilter. <laughs> Gracious sakes, last time I looked at you, that right angle went the other way. Well, let's see if I... No, no, Beulah, it's all right. I'll, I'll manage. Well, just practicing things up. Thanks, Lold, Zumar. Thanks, Jack. You're welcome. Thanks, Fran. Here I am for Thursday's show. Hello, Fran. We have to move fast now. Hello. What's the matter? Beulah just gave me an adjustment. Oh, you ought to know better than that. Let me careful. Now, breathe, breathe deeply. There. Oh, Ooh. don't let her do that again. No, I won't. What, what's she up to? She said we don't move fast enough. Oh. She says I have to get in and out faster. Oh, well, I suppose that's a good idea. Was she trying to brush up the show a little bit? She before? said she thought we needed a... What? Well, get out of there. I can't talk. Mm -hmm. well, we don't have any secrets. Hello, Fran. Well, hello. Well, it's downstairs. I don't know where it is. Well, it's downstairs. I'll look for it. <laughs> <laughs> Warm today. <clears throat> Not very. I had potato salad for lunch. Well, that's nice. <laughs> Cold meatloaf, too. Good. <laughs> What's such a big secret about a toolbox? Who knows? What's he up to? I don't know. Let me go and look. Just a minute. Wait. Don't go away. No. Very strange. You don't have 301 things a bright boy can do, do you? No. It's out of the library. Gee, I haven't had it. Well, shall we put two and two together? Beulah had it. Ollie, tool chest, 301 things a bright boy can do. I thought you wanted it. You mean he wants it? Yes, he wants it. Oh, heavens. Well, excuse me. Well, it's all... Heavens. Ollie! Ollie! What? What are you doing? Can I trust you? I'm sure you can trust me. I'm making a present for Fran. Who? Fran! Oh, that's nice. Well, here I am. <laughs> I don't understand He's this. building a girder for a bridge. Oh, well, all right. What is it? Wait a minute. Hold this edge of the board now. Hold it right there. Hold it. Hold it. Oh, I told you to hold it. Well, I tried to hold it. Honestly, bring it up here on the stage. I'm trying to do my best. Where do you want it? Right through you. What are you making? Well, don't tell anybody, but you know how Fran loves baseball. And, um... Yes, I know. 
Well, <clears throat> it's difficult for her sometimes to catch up with the game and everything. She's running hither, thither, and yon, and especially when she's making up. You know, she likes to, to uh, catch up with the game. And so I'm making her a Kuklapolitan, a uh, Little Wonder, Oliver J. Dragon, portable scoreboard. Where did you learn to make that? Oh, I added two or three chapters from 301 Things a Bright Boy Can Do, and it came out a scoreboard. Well, good for you. Let's solve this. Okay. I can't get it in the same angle you got it in. Well, you put it in. Watch my tooth. You're coming perilously close to my tooth. Do you want me to solve this or not? Yes, but I don't want you to saw my tooth also. I won't saw your tooth also. Put your tooth over here. I'll saw here. I get sarcastic about this. Kugel, I don't want it distressed. I want it thawed. <laughs> What's distress? That's what they do to antique furniture when they want to make it look older. Well, I don't mean, I just can't get in the slot here. No! He's lost his head. Stand out of the way, everybody. Oh, Ollie, here you do it. Okay. Now, wait a minute. Give me a hammer. There, now wait. Now, that's all I need. There. Oh, that looks pretty good. Let's try it. Don't tell Fran. You like that? Why don't you call Fran in? I want to stay out of the way. Yes, all right. You stay backstage. Fran, dear. Yes. <laughs> oh, you oughtn't to hang your laundry out here. It's not my laundry. This is a, a present for you that I just made. For me? Yes. It's an automatic scoreboard. For what? Baseball. White socks? Here, see, this is a white sock. Great. Guess what's on the other side? Oh, what could it be? Let me see. What are those little things hanging up there? Little teddy bears. <laughs> yes, little bears. What are little bears? Little bears. Well, little bears. No. Oh, it couldn't be. The cub? Yes! Oh, is that wonderful! Well, I know how it is. You can't always get to a television set to watch the game. So I thought it would be real handy for you to have this in your dressing room, and we're going to relay it. Uh, Cecil Bill and uh, Beulah Witch and I have worked out a complete a type of a uh, relaying so that you'll get the entire game, just like they do on those big professional places. Oh, you know. gee, that's wonderful! It's a very complicated system of wiring. As a matter of fact, the rest of the NBC studios here in Chicago have to shut down during the time that we run the short, uh, scoreboard because the load on the power is too high and it's liable to blow a fuse. Oh? And heaven forbid that we should blow a fuse. Well, how will I do that, though? I, I mean... Uh, well, now, I'll, 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 I'll like this. See, we'll ha I will relay it. I'll be in the NBC newsroom, see, <laughs> getting it direct on the wire, and I'll, I'll relay it, and it's automatic. Works just beautifully. Uh -huh. Oh, you'll love it. Oh, I know I will. Yeah. Gee, it's what I've always wanted. Now, <clears throat> we say, uh, <clears throat> uh, the pitcher comes up on the mound. Yes, sir, and there he is. Yeah, the pitcher's on the mound. He winds up. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the batter comes up while the pitcher is winding up. No, that's not right. The pitcher's warming up. <clears throat> warming up, yeah. all right. Now the batter comes up. No, the pitcher's on the mound. No, the batter comes up. I said the pitcher's on the mound. We'll get to. Yeah, because it'd be a little disconcerting otherwise. Whoops. <laughs> well, <clears throat> here, now the pitcher's on the mound. The batter comes up. Yeah. And he, uh, he's right. We'll see the batter. Yeah, here he is. Now, the, here comes the ball. How will I know if he's a right-hander or a left-hander? I'll tell you. Okay. Here comes the ball. Right. Strike one. 
Toy, 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 toy,
prices and uh, technical information. Isn't now, that now, Princess, you move it down here. For, uh, here's, I think, on flashlight batteries. You want to get something about there. Pop, there it is, all your data. Isn't that wonderful? Up here for, for uh, let me see, what is this right here? Interchangeability data. The right so there, it there is. it is. Yes, isn't that grand? Well, that's great. Uh, right here, now this is for, uh, let me see, here's a, some more technical information, right? Oh, here's about industrial use, yes, here it is. Oh, oh. <laughs> it bites me a yes. little. <laughs> isn't that grand? That's simply grand, we were gonna sing a little song about it. Well, that's just ducky. I'll just do that, yes, sir. That, uh, which one are we going to do? Well, Ollie was, you know, the song he usually sings about RCA batteries, the little jingle that Jack wrote about RCA battery. Oh, I know that well. Yeah. I have rehearsed it. All right. Yes, do uh, you mind wait till I get my maracas? No, no, we're not no, going to do it with that. It's just a rehearsal. Just, oh. just run through it with me. All righty, Bob. RCA batteries, RCA batteries. Powerful, long-lasting. RCA batteries for all different kinds of portable radios. Check with your local dealer, he knows that, that RCA, RCA batteries will last and last because they're powerful. Long lasting RCA, RCA batteries. RCA! <laughs> How did that go? Well, I thought you did very well, Flesh. Well, it had a little hillbilly twang to it, but I thought it was perfectly delightful. Very nice. Well, I can talk about RCA batteries all day, if you'd like me to, and about portable radios, RCA portable. Would you like me to talk all day about them? Well, uh, perhaps tomorrow. All righty. What time shall we make it? Well, 7.30. They're a little early. 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock is great. 8 o'clock, fine. That'll be just grand. Fine. Thank you. I'll pack a lunch. Pack a lunch? He will, too. I bet he will. <laughs> All day. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing like getting a good early start. Now, now I had something I want to talk about, too. I had a commercial for myself. I know, the Cuckoo Pollock uh, Courier Yearbook. Oh, fine. Yes. I, I haven't mentioned that for a couple of weeks. No, you haven't. Do you have the little card which shows everyone where they can send mm -hmm. to get it? Well, everybody has, has uh, uh, well, not everybody, but lots of people have written us about it, and uh, lots of people have gotten their copies of the Cuckoo Pollock Courier Yearbook. A little yearbook all about us. Mm -hmm. Who goes? Fran and Ollie and all the Cuckapolitan players are in here with pictures and stories about, about everybody. And we, we used to have a little newspaper, you know. But uh, instead of having a newspaper this year, we, we put it out in one big yearbook. And it costs one dollar, just one dollar, and you send in to... <coughs> KFO Yearbook, Post Six. Office Box. 3446. Chicago 77, Illinois. And be sure that you include your name and address, and one dollar, and your postal zone, too. That's right. No, sure, because otherwise we couldn't send it to you. It'd be pretty silly, wouldn't it? Well, we want to make certain that it reaches you. Yeah, absolutely, because it's a wonderful little book. We think, mm -hmm. anyway. Well, I think so. Now, there I go doing my horn again. <laughs> think that was up long enough? I think so, dear. To burn into the camera, I think so. Well, <laughs> well sir, now what else have we got? <coughs> Well, I, we haven't had it yet, but we will, I imagine. I rather imagine. I think I've had it. Eureka! Eureka! Oh, Did you discover Eureka. something? Eureka! Oh, this is going to be it. Watch it. I'm Careful. sorry, I'm so enthusiastic. Do you, you need any help? help? Can What's I help you? Oh, this is that one now. <coughs> now. <coughs> this is my scoreboard? Yes. <coughs> this, is a, this is something you don't have to watch too closely, you see. Now. For instance, um, <clears throat> uh, now, it'll come over. I'll give you uh, just a sample. Um, now, the pitcher uh, is up on the mound. Pitcher's uh, on the mound. Yeah. All right. He winds up and throws. Wild pitch. <laughs> there it is. There it is. There, a first base. <clears throat> a single. That's right. This is. Just one, I guess. That's correct. That's fine. Okay. All right, now, for instance, now, pitcher's on the, the pitcher's on the mound. He winds up and throws. <coughs> yeah, he looks a little, 
No. Yeah, yeah. He caught it. Yeah. The fly. <laughs> fly ball. That's pretty good, Allie. Pretty good. Well, let me try another one. Here's a great one. This is the climax of the whole thing. Now, <clears throat> uh, the pitcher's up at the mound. Here he goes. He winds up. He throws. There we go. There we go. Oh, he hit that ball. It's going over. Looks like he's in it. I think. There it is over the wall. That's it. It's a home run. Oh, something jumped out. Oh. The mainspring. Oh, if it's going to have that thing in it, I can never work it. You don't have any faith in me. Yes, I do, too, Ollie. I, and it's a wonderful thing, and I, I'm, I'm so grateful, but I, I just can't cope with that. I'm awfully sorry. Can we do it without it? Without the big spring in it? Mm-hmm. Ollie. Hmm? I have a suggestion, if I may make it. I suppose anybody can make a suggestion now. I, there's not much room for anything else but a suggestion. Is there? I hardly think so. Um, hold on a minute. Hold on, Fran, just a second, will you, dear? Okay. <laughs> it's too bad. It started out real good. It did, didn't it? Sure it did. There wouldn't have been another one like it anywhere. We'd have to pay Jack Fashionado's scale, of course, every time they hit a home run. Sure. But, but it would have been it, worth it. It was worth it. Really was worth it. I liked all those colored scenes going around. I did, too. It was I real know. wonderful. It was sort of American, like Yeah, baseball. it was. Yeah, it was. It really was. I wanted some sparklers to go off, too, but Coop was there's no fireworks. Could have had a peanut dispenser and all. Yeah, mm -hmm. wouldn't it have been wonderful? Fran. Uh, Ollie, I hate to make this suggestion uh, because I don't want to hurt your feelings, but I think the best way for Fran to keep in touch with the baseball games is to carry her little RCA Victor Portable with her. That's simple, isn't it? The obvious is sometimes so hard to see. <laughs> yes. I never, I never thought, why didn't I think of that? Gee, I even take that with me when I go to the games. Sure. Well, thank you very much. Don't you think that'd be the best way? Sure, it's a wonderful You agree, idea. Ollie? Well, it's a lot simpler. Yeah, it is. And it'll save a lot of wear and tear on Jack Fashionado. Yes, it will. To say nothing of me and uh, the scoreboard and the saw. Yes, I think it's a good idea. As a matter of fact, friend, I always say this. Remember, for the best in portable radios, it's RCA! Victor. <laughs> Vacation time is coming up, and that means portable radios wherever you go. You can put more play in your portable radio this year by insisting on these long-lasting RCA radio batteries. They're radio engineered for extra listening hours. For best performance, have your portable radio inspected tomorrow by your local radio dealer or serviceman. He has a fresh new RCA battery for your portable regardless of make or style. If your portable battery has grown weak, Replace it with a new RCA battery. You'll enjoy all the full, rich tones designed into your portable when it's powered with long-lasting RCA radio batteries available at radio dealers everywhere. Look them over. And remember, when your portable needs new life, specify economical, top-quality RCA radio batteries. Radio engineered for extra listening hours. The musical director of Cook, Lafran, and Ollie is Jack Fashionato. The producer is Buda Zachary. The director, Louis Gomovitz. And the costume director is Joseph Lockwood. And this is Bert Holstrom. Thank you on behalf of Oliver Dragon and all the Cooperpolitan players. Good night. RCA Victor, world leader in radio, first in television, first in recorded music. Kukla, Fran, and Ollie came to you from Chicago. NBC Television. Mm -hmm.